Okay, gotcha. So my dad locked you up and ran away with me soon after I was born? You are taking this in an entirely inappropriate direction. I clearly said it is not like that. I created you and the other three CPUs with the former goddess. That was, however, a dire error. I only wish to end the tragedy caused by my own mistake. Please, help me. Shut up! Oh, crackers. Did I break something? Where am I? My room? Oh, you're up. Good morning, sleepyhead. Well, good afternoon, technically. Um, this isn't my room, huh? Is it yours? Why am I tucked into your bed so snugly? Well, let's see. It all happened last night. I was looking up into the sky and saw a shooting star. That was you. I was a shooting star? Are you yanking my hoodie strings? I fell from the sky? I'm pretty sure. I followed you to the ground with my eyes and you definitely slammed into the earth like a spear. I pulled you from the ground you pierced so elegantly and carried you to my bed, since you were passed out. All by yourself? That's cool, thanks. You're a lot stronger than you look. I attend a nursing school. Transporting limp bodies is part of our training, so I'm used to it. My name is Kampa. Um... Oh, I'm Neptune. Kampa, huh? Then should I call you Kam... Uh, whatever. <laughs> Kampa's fine. It's nice to meet you, Nep... Nepe... Nepta... Nepalvis... Nep... Tumor? <laughs> oh, is it confusing you? Okay, then you can call me Neptuna. Nep Nep? Nippermint or something else. <laughs> okay, then I pick Nep Nep. It's nice to meet you, Nep Nep. By the by, I notice you're all beat up everywhere. Allow me to take a look real quick. Oh yeah, I am kind of scraped up, huh? Thanks, nurse in training. I am trusting you with this important task. Sure, but I've just started. And I'm not too savvy. I get bandages all tangled up. Your injuries aren't bad, but the scratches need disinfecting. After that, I'll wrap you up. It might sting a little, but hang in there. How much bandage should I use? A little? A lot? Hmm, use it all up. Wrap me up good so it doesn't come loose. Besides, it's a waste if they don't last. Okay, then I'll just use what I have. Please let me know if it's too tight. This way. That way. Loop it over. Someone mentioning the world below? Yes, 
That's absolutely correct. This is one of the major landmasses beneath Celestia. One of the landmasses? So there are several? Why, yes. There are four major landmasses floating around. Sometimes they come close to one another and drift away. Remember? Nope, not at all. Planetoon, landmasses, <laughs> rings no bells for me. Maybe you're suffering from amnesia. I've never seen a case in person. How original! Maybe you bumped your head. Isn't there medication or something for that? No, not for amnesia. It's usually a temporary thing. I'm sure you'll begin to recall things eventually. My grandpa always said, Fancy may kill or cure. Get some sleep, take it easy, and you'll be better in no time. Get some sleep? I feel like someone asked me to do something while I was unconscious. Yeah, someone was crying out for help in my dream. In your dream? Then it's not real. Oh, you never know. It was so weird. I bet you someone far away was like, and sent me a telepathic message, you know? It's possible. Actually, many places, Planetude included, are being threatened by more and more monsters lately. The military powers fail to keep them from appearing. We can only defend ourselves and keep them at bay now. Then, there must be a boss generating all these monsters somewhere. I bet my mission is to go defeat that boss and save the world! You may be right about a boss, but nobody has seen or heard anything like that. How will you find it? This is irrational, dangerous, and absolutely impossible! Nobody's gonna beat the boss if we just sit here. Someone's gotta take initiative, you know? That's me! Plus, I can't ignore this once I've noticed it. Haven't you heard, strike while the iron's hot? I believe Grandpa did have a saying like that. Yes, that's right. I wanted to be a nurse to save people. So, why would I save the injured, but not those being threatened by monsters? Help, Nap Nap. I'm not the strongest, but I'll help. Two is better than one. You will? Don't you have school? You're not in the middle of summer vacation or anything, right? Right, but this city's population has been declining due to monsters eating them. Students are leaving school out of fear. So it's closed down for now. Classes are suspended until further notice. Oh, that sucks. But that means you can camp out, right? Goody, let's go find the dungeon where the boss is waiting. you found searching dungle maps? Yeah, it feels like a dungeon with lots of tough monsters. No, no strong monsters here. I search for dungeons with weak monsters. We're not ready for the strong ones yet. What? Only weaklings? Then I'll wait where I won't encounter any and you can come get me when you find the boss. So we're basically soulmates! Abandoning your party now goes against the rules of this world. You'll get punished by the goddess! Goddess? So not only are there monsters, but there's a goddess here too? You didn't know? Silly amnesia! But forgetting even the goddesses? Oh, you poor thing! Aside from Planetune, there are three other landmasses. La Station, Leanbox, and Louis. Each planet is protected by a goddess, and people go to the Basilicom to worship them and help govern each land. We have no idea where the monsters are coming from. Their power just grows and grows. Everyone thinks it's due to the goddess's weakening powers. Heated discussions take place every night on the Basilicom's blog. Basilicom? So, what kind of place is that? Is one nearby? <gasps> Do they bake cookies? Nap-nap, 
Enough banter! We should get going before the weak monsters get tired of waiting for us! Got it, eh? 